We've always had a burden for university students. We see them as the leader of their countries tomorrow and have always wanted to reach them for Christ. So when our mission challenged us to come to Eastern Europe and begin a university movement there, we jumped at the opportunity and brought our small children, four, five, and seven, to Budapest, Hungary. You can imagine the challenges that we faced sending our children to a communist public school. The ideology was difficult. They learned a new language. After a while, they didn't remember their own mother tongue very well. And because we're not teachers, I didn't really know how to help them. I didn't know what you do to help your children operate in two languages at the same time. We really, our children really found it difficult, especially Christine, uh, Jake, no. But um, adapting to the, to the French system, having been in, into the Canadian system, she really found it difficult. And so through prayer, through meeting other missionaries, we came to the conclusion to, to send uh, Christine to closer uh, to, to a school in Germany, a Christian school, and, um, and she really enjoyed it. When we went to visit it, she said, that's the school I want, I, I, I want to go. So we said to ourselves, if we have to reach the, the, the people with the gospel and we're going to lose our own family, we might as well go back to Canada. And what's the purpose coming to Europe if we're going to lose our family and our children? Black Forest Academy, located in southwestern Germany, is meeting the needs of missionary families by providing an international Christian education in the English language. We're responding to the specific um, ideas that were coming up in the outside of classroom. Founded in the 1950s by Jan's Team Ministries, the school initially served its own missionary families. In the 1970s, Jan's Team invited other missions to send children to the school and to join the school board of directors. Today, the school has grown to serve families from over 40 mission agencies. Students come to BFA from more than 20 countries in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. As a fully accredited school, BFA challenges them to do their best academically through a program which emphasizes quality and excellence. At Black Forest Academy, we've developed a vision for international Christian education. It's something that flows both inwardly and outwardly. We're about the training of young people dedicated Christian scholars who are going to go out into their world and make a difference for Christ. God's given us many resources at Black Forest Academy and we want to use all of these resources to help the church here in Europe through a broadly defined Christian education program. So whether our staff and faculty are in Eastern Europe helping to train teachers or whether they're just in the local German community witnessing, sharing Christ, they're still modeling international Christian education, these principles of going out into the world that God gives us to make a difference for Him. What are those? What's in dust? Painted. Those are tears. Painted. I'm drawing a portrait of you. BFA is directly involved in missions through a variety of outreach projects. Various groups have gone to Bulgaria, Croatia, Romania, and several Western European countries. The goals of our outreach program here at BFA are twofold. Number one is to passionately and with as much love as we can uh, muster through the help of the Lord is to communicate the gospel to people everywhere. And we not only want to do that in a regular way, but we want to model for our students as we take them out what the Christian life is all about, not just in the academic realm or in music or in sports, but we want to integrate the whole of the Christian life so that the students have this passion and burden to want to go out and reach the lost. I went on my first outreach trip, which was to Portugal. Um, we had a beach evangelism time where we did a little program on the beach and then um, split up in, in twos or threes and then went out to share with people. And before leaving, I specifically asked BFCF to pray that I would at least be able to witness to one person. And I got, and that person would become a Christian. 
and I got to do that in the person became a Christian and I was doing cartwheels. The staff come to this town in southwestern Germany from throughout the U.S., Canada, and Europe. Unlike many mission schools, Black Forest Academy does not have a centralized campus. The high school is located in Condern, while the elementary and middle school building is in a nearby village. Staff members live in the community. The student residences are located in nearby towns. The residential program provides a home away from home for our students in grades 7 through 12 who are unable to stay on their parents' field of ministry. About two-thirds of the high school student body live in student housing. Each is fully staffed by missionaries who are dedicated to working in partnership with parents to nurture their children's development. I really look at it as I'm really responsible to the Lord for these kids. We had to come to the point years ago when we first thought of missions, willing to send our kids away to boarding school if the Lord required it. And so I know how it feels for a parent to go through that. And, and ultimately, they're trusting the Lord for their children. And because of that, I feel very responsible to them. But beyond that, to the Lord, to be for these kids what He wants us to be. Yeah, and that translates into a, a daily objective, I guess, as to what any parent would do. We follow through in that. But also uh, in an overall goal, I guess, for our whole ministry here. We used to have a, a motto we used in New Guinea and have used here. It used to be a little plaque and that uh, we carried with us for Somehow. years. And now it's not with us. But the motto simply said, God is ready to assume full responsibility for the life wholly yielded to him. And that's what I would say we're trying to accomplish in these teens' lives, to get to the point where they're willing to trust God for absolutely everything in their lives. A real positive thing that I've experienced here at the dorm was, uh, it happened also last year, um, was all the guys decided one night to get together and, and they said, how about if we meet once a week and just have a prayer meeting and, and let's pray about the things that really affect us at school and stuff that we don't necessarily want to tell staff and have them involved with. And so we started meeting on Wednesday nights and uh, it was just a really good time. We ended up just talking and talking about our experiences at school and stuff and just praying at the end. The support staff are just as vital to the operation of Black Forest Academy as are the teachers and administrators. Unlike schools in third world countries where local wages are very low, BFA has to rely on missionaries to fill these positions. A custodian on German wages would cost the school $25 an hour. Having a printing and graphics department cuts the cost by more than half and dramatically increases opportunities for ministry. As enrollment grows, so does the need for additional classroom space and renovations to student residences. The construction staff also play an important part in the future construction of a multi-purpose building in Condern. Project Nehemiah, as this project is known, will significantly expand the ministry and provide facilities needed for new classrooms. Administrative functions that were once part-time assignments for teachers grew to require full-time staffing as enrollment and staff numbers increased. The business, communications, and personnel departments all provide important services to keep the school functioning smoothly and efficiently. BFA has developed another department that provides counseling services to missionaries. It also offers postgraduate courses in biblical counseling to national pastors and lay leaders. The Public Ministries Department initiates local evangelism projects and coordinates summer ministries and work teams. They also offer English as a second language, as well as private music lessons. This enables them to make direct contact with the people of the community. Black Forest Christian Fellowship functions as a church home for staff and students. In addition to holding Sunday worship services, the church hosts a discipleship program for high school students. Its Bible studies for adults and a WANA program for young children serve both the BFA and German communities. Qualified library staff are needed to operate the resource center built in 1992. 
Its 17,000 volumes and numerous periodicals, audio and videotapes are cataloged on a computer network. Numerous reference works are available on CD-ROM discs. The large collection of books on church planting, evangelism, and related topics make it a valuable extension to the libraries of our missionary parents. Staff members bring a wealth of experience to Black Forest Academy. Blended with the international flavor of this institution, they help create a unique educational setting. Okay, good. All right. I mean, this is a song. Hey, brother, haven't you noticed there's a war going on in Soul of Man? Do you mean what you're saying here? I mean, you guys saying there, brother, haven't you? No, put it into it, okay? Let's sing it like we mean it. Let I'm not a Bible translator. I'm, I'm not, my husband's not a pastor, and we're not church planters. And when we first start, started thinking about missions, we thought, where could we ever fit in? We are not any of those things. We're not church planters. How can we fit in? And that's when we started realizing youth work is something that fits in to the mission field, that working with kids is something that we could do. I think working with kids is very important in that the parents are, are doing the church planning and the evangelizing, and we're taking care of the kids. Come, wir müssen ihn verfolgen. Okay, now if you put, point your head toward him and follow him, okay? He's gonna, and he's going to go behind the trees. He's going down, and you're going down, Cynthia. Yeah. Now, come on over here. Look, one third of right. 21. Look, right, yeah, right. right. Implementing this ministry involves a cost. Tuition fees must be kept at a level so that missionaries can afford to send their children to Black Forest Academy. To accomplish this, each staff member raises his or her own support. The teachers, administrators, residents, and support staff are all directly dependent on those who support them in their work. Implementing this ministry also involves commitment. Qualified staff are a key to achieving the goals of this work, and there are staff openings right now. Consider your participation in this endeavor. The provision of financial support for a staff member makes their service possible. Regular prayer will strengthen them in their work. Becoming a staff member yourself will put you on the front lines in Europe. Talk to a Black Forest Academy staff member and find out their needs. Catch the vision of international Christian education.